I am a big fan of director and writer Edgar Wright. Uh, his two feature films so far, before Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, have been Shaun of the Dead, a very funny spoof of zombie movies, and Hot Fuzz, a very witty tribute to buddy cop movies of the 70s, and I like both of them. Now he has a chance to go on and make a big Hollywood film, and he made the film Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is based on a series of graphic novel, novels which uh, themselves were inspired by Japanese manga comic books. In this film, Michael Cera plays the lead character. He's sort of a slacker living in Toronto, plays in a rock band called the Sex Bombs. Yes, that's how you say it. And he happens to be considered a loser by a lot of people around him, particularly because he's dating a high school girl, happens to be of Asian descent. Now, Scott falls in love with another slacker, this one with purple hair, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. And uh, in order to win her over, he has to battle her group of ex-boyfriends and one ex-girlfriend. It was sort of a phase she was going through, as they explained in the movie. Anyway, this film tries to emulate video games. In the fights that Scott goes against the exes. Uh, there's all sorts of ringing going on. There's cash being dropped. There's scores going up on the screen. There's little clues that are, uh, you know, relating to Pac-Man and Zelda and all these video games. And if you're into video games, and if you're in the comic books, I have to say you will probably get a big jolt out of Scott Pilgrim versus the world. There's some terrific supporting parts here done by the likes of Anna Kendrick, who was nominated for an Oscar for Up in the Air, Jason Schwartzman, who plays one of the evil exes, who's now a music promoter, uh, and especially Kiernan Culkin, uh, who plays Scott's gay roommate. He does a really terrific job in this film. You're just kind of overwhelmed with it. You don't know what to watch. Uh, it, it seems to have a problem sticking to one particular uh, character at a time. And to tell you the truth, the romance between Scott uh, Pilgrim and the girl played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead is not very good. It just doesn't come through. And actually, I'd rather see him date the high school girl, as wrong as it, as it is, and as politically incorrect. She seems like a more interesting character to me. So I can't knock the film for its ambitions. But I can say that maybe I'm just out of the loop. Maybe because I'm not a big comic book geek. Maybe because I haven't played a lot of video games. This movie just isn't for me. So I can't say it's a bad movie. I admire Wright's terrific touches to it and what he tried to achieve by making it like a video game. I could just say this movie is not particularly for everyone. So Scott Pilgrim vs. The World gets a mixed review from me. Comic book fan fan of video games, can't live without Pac-Man or Zelda or Super Mario Brothers, you're going to like it. Anybody else? Steer clear of Scott Pilgrim versus the world.